All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, Al Bundy's Most Savage Moments. Guys, let's check it out. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Let's check it out. Right, guys. Let's get it. Carrot. Excuse me, but am I invisible? Oh no, no, don't ask him that. <gasps> okay, okay. You're asking for whatever comes after your 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 statement. All right. Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> call the police. What for? The call costs more than the car. Ah. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. <laughs> You've already got one. Uh, honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? Right. Because, Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned properly. Well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expecting. Bro, these clips are moving too fast. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. Wow. And I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. <laughs> How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. Damn. That's very. Bro, this, it, it, listen, king of the one liners. Well, I'd say it behind king your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> That's very touching, honey. Now rub my feet. <laughs> Peggy, I wouldn't rub your feet if a genie popped out of me. Oh, Peggy. You'll never guess what Jefferson did! Misunderstood your cries of pluck me to the butcher? Little <laughs> girl, I wanted to be a ballerina. Ballerina? <laughs> you sure are my nutcracker. <laughs> I just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> bro, don't don't let Gen Z see this show, bro. Uh, keep keep this away from from Gen Z, bro. No joke. Don't let TikTok find this. All right, if they find this, bro. Oh no! Imagine, imagine. You know, medium. The size between small and you. Why must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> I'm a natural born salesman. Excuse me. Like the banter between him and Marcy have always been absolutely. Iconic. It's hilarious. It's, it's, I mean, uh, it wouldn't work now, right? Because apparently, you know, he, he calls her a chicken because she has like chicken legs or something like that, guys. But um, it's always been absolutely the reason why I watched the show, even though I wasn't allowed to watch the show growing up, guys. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Good. Now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> It's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Ah! <laughs> or a bra on you. Question two. Who would you rather spend the night with? A, your wife, okay. or B? B. Five. 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 Oh, five. no. Oh, One, no. two, three, four. You're going to fall through the floor. <laughs> This year, oh. I am fine. Bro, again. Before, you're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> this year, I am finally going to win the neighborhood decorating contest. All right. What, are you gonna stand out front and be the little drummer boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're going. Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. Is <laughs> it just a second here? Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? <laughs> shade of blue. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. Okay. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? Guys, and for the people who are who are not alive during this era, or or absolutely minuscule in age, right? So, um, Jenny Craig used to be like a like a diet thing, like a diet program, but they had like like 
brick and mortar like locations where you could go to like lose weight. It was, like, was kind of like jazz size or, uh, or or Zumba is now or that type of thing. It was all aerobics. Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. Wow. <laughs> Wow, nice wheels. But you have to realize, stealing cars is a felony. So it's pretend to be that kid on home improvement. With this attitude, you're gonna be working here for the rest of your- Oh, can you imagine like, like, trying to go to casting for this show and you were like a larger woman and you knew what was gonna happen, right? You knew your purpose on the show was to be the joke, right? Can you imagine the feeling that was, guys? Um, but I know, we, you know the, the skin was much thicker back then, right? For, on everyone, right? Um, nowadays. Ugh. Your life. <laughs> this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. Okay, let's get it. Let's go, let's go. Well, take a gander here into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Oh. oh, no. <laughs> Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Go ahead, go ahead. Go, go, go. Now try the moon. You're way less <laughs> You know, Marcy, how can you be so unfeeling? <laughs> Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that something very, very important was gone? Well, sure you do. You must every morning when you open up your pajama top. <laughs> Well, let me explain. See, it's it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this. Wow. Okay. Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. Like a horse, but... You will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Doc? Oh. <laughs> you know, Jefferson, good for you. You decided to take the Miller boy camping. <laughs> hey, Bobby! I had... I can't even... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is that the law offices of Hawken and Dot? Bro, this man is a beast. He's a beast. And, and Dot? Like, like, who wrote this? Was it him? I don't know. I don't think he's really that funny in real life, guys. He had, they must have had that... Hmm, what are talking about? They must have had had a... Um, like an entire team of like comedians or something. You know, Jefferson, good for you. You decided to take the Miller boy camping. Huh? Home hey, Bundy, I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> I smell foul. Go ahead. That's you a certainly do. <laughs> hey. You're in my son. No. Oh, no. I'm trying to get an all over tan. No, don't do this. You're yeah. asking a lot of the sun. Excuse me, do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them. To well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. Go ahead, next. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? <laughs> and to help you out, I made a top ten list of Things to make you more attractive for your for your sex symbol husband. Okay, let's get it. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Number ten: wear traditional Islamic garb covering all but the eyes. <laughs> okay. Number nine: feather removing electrolysis. Number a eight: chicken. ski mask. Right. Number seven: sew up holes in ski mask. <laughs> Number six, hire attractive woman to stand in front of you at all times. <laughs> Number five, beak job. <laughs> Number chicken. four, put paper bag over ski mask. Wow. <laughs> Number three, shave head, tattoo Cindy Crawford's face on back of head. <laughs> Learn walk to walk backwards. Yes. <laughs> Number two, poke out eyes of every man on earth. Right. Number one, get president to make every day Halloween. Oh my God, bro. Uh, God. <laughs> Al Bundy, man of the century. <laughs> oh no, guys, it's like, 
Okay, so this is absolutely savage, and he's consistently savage too. Honestly, everyone, everybody can get it, right? This was like, I mean, yeah, man of the century. Um, you know, he has a couple of issues that I think though that would like again, these issues would would not be redeemable these days. Um, but uh, man, Al Bundy, all right? Uh, where do we even begin? Just king of the one-liners, absolutely king of the one-liners. But listen, uh, let me know in the comments though uh, the next thing uh, from from him, the show that I should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly. Mm -hmm.